Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Excel. Today, we're going to learn about absolute value. We have a spreadsheet with students' names in it and the grades that they received out of a possible hundred. We're going to figure out the percentage. So I'm going to click into cell C3. And I'm going to put in the formula. Equal. Now I want to find the percentage for Nancy. So I'm going to click into the cell that says 80. I'm going to click on my keyboard, the division sign. Then I'm going to divide by the 100. So I'm going to click into the cell that says 100, B, cell B2. And then I'm going to press enter to find the percentage. And it returned the correct value, 80%. Okay, that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill handle this down. And 90 divided by 100 is not 112.50%. So something is incorrect. So I, what I need to do is click into cell C4 and then go up to the formula bar so that I can see what's going on. So I'm going to click into the formula bar so that the cells will highlight so I can see what Excel divided 90 by. And I see that this 90 is divided by cell B3 which is 80 instead of dividing 90 by 100. This is why we have the incorrect information. So I'm going to press the escape key on my keyboard and I'm going to delete the incorrect information. I'm going to go back up to cell C3 where the 80% is and then click into that cell and then I'm going up to the formula bar. Now to create an absolute value which is every time that I divide a number for Nancy, Mary, or Larry, I want the number to be divided by 100. So I need to make sure of that. So therefore I need to make cell B2 an absolute value. And how you do that is by pressing F4 on your keyboard. The dollar signs will show up and that means that particular cell is an absolute value. I press enter, gives me 80%, that's the correct return. I'm going to fill handle the other two cells down and 90 divided by 100 is 90 and 70 divided by 100 is 70 so that is correct. So now we have the correct results. Also want you to know, I'm going to click back into cell C3, that your function key F4 is a toggle switch. So you can click F4 and it will say OK. The dollar sign 2, that means that row 2 will never change. If I click F4 again, I have the dollar sign B. That means the column B will never change. If I click F4 again, it takes me back to just B2 with no dollar signs, which is a relative value, which means every time that you fill handle to fill in empty cells, the Excel will automatically go down one cell and it will not always give you the correct return if you need to have an absolute value. Click on F4 again and I have my absolute value. I'm clicking on enter and there you go. Okay, I hope that clears up absolute value. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.